Kindergartens, elementary, middle, and high schools nationwide will fully return to normal in spring. Starting late next month, attendance caps will be removed so everyone can be in class. Hazung will provide a glimpse of what to expect. In less than a month, schools across South Korea can fully resume in-person learning. The Ministry of Education announced on Friday that starting November 22nd, attendance caps will no longer apply to the country's kindergartens, elementary, middle, and high schools. In-class group discussion sessions will make a comeback, and kindergartens will be allowed to hold outdoor activities. Certain limitations will still exist, though, as most young children aren't eligible for vaccination. Sleepover programs are still banned for now, though. And depending on how well the virus is contained nationwide, we're expecting large hands-on learning programs and school events to resume in the spring next year. The need for in-person classes can be seen by the widening education gap brought on by the prolonged period of remote learning. According to a government study, student achievement in Korean, math, and English dropped last year compared to before the pandemic. Under remote learning, the education gap widens because depending on their learning environment at home, for example, internet connection, some kids don't have proper access to school material. So as a teacher, I believe the full return to in-person learning is something to welcome. The government aims to remove almost all the other remaining school restrictions by next spring. There are those who worry whether the changes are coming too early, though. And so, the government is urging local communities to strictly abide by health protocols and will be aggressively increasing school antivirus personnel and PCR tests. As for universities, campuses will start gradually expanding in-person learning on Monday, considering the high vaccination rate among people in their 20s, ahead of a full return to normal in the spring. In principle, small-scale lectures as well as classes requiring experiments are to be run face-to-face. -face. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.